Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching us. In this video, we are going to share with you something that related to pressure, which is the barometer. So, what is a barometer? Well, a barometer is just a technical instrument that is used for meteorology to measure the atmospheric pressure. Well, pressure is force of an area. There are few types of barometer. Well, the most commonly used are water based, mercury, vacuum pump oil, and aneroid. The barometer are commonly used for weather forecasting. Well, in weather forecasting, the larger the change in pressure, the larger of change of weather can be expected. However, if the pressure drops rapid, a low pressure system is approaching. There are two factors that affect the pressure. First is temperature. Well, the higher the temperature, the higher the pressure. And another one is altitude. The lower the altitude, the higher the pressure. Now let's see about the application of variation of pressure with that. I'm going to explain the variation of pressure uh, with that. As you can see here, there is a cube inside the bowl of water. Assume that uh, the cube is in a static equilibrium, which is cube doesn't move. There is pressure acting towards the cube, which is the force is perpendicular towards the object. In Newton's second law, state that the force at this way and this way is equal in, uh, if the cube doesn't move. So, the force is equal, area equal and the pressure also equal. Conclusion is, pressure is seen along the x direction as long as it is moved at the same height. Okay, that is for the x direction. For y direction, as we all know, uh, the object has its own mass, which is acting downward of the object, mg. The object also has a force that acting up at the object, which is F force equal to pressure point and area. And also, object has force acting on the bottom of the object. So we can summarize it at sub of Fy equal to zero. We just add up this thing. We can substitute mass. We can substitute mass with uh, equation intensity multiplied by volume. And we can substitute also volume into delta Y multiplied by E. Delta Y Okay, then we can set out the area. We get uh, P2 minus P1 minus rho delta Y and uh, gravitational force. So we rearrange the equation. We get P2 equal to P1 plus delta Y rho G. As this conclusion, we can uh, tell that the lower the pressure at the bottom of an object is greater the pressure. Okay, right now, we are going to conduct two experiments to show the changes of pressure.
from this experiment, we can see that the temperature is directly proportional to pressure. When temperature gets rise, pressure also gets higher.